Hey darlings, Luxland ATL here with a Valentine charcuterie idea or a charcuterie board, excuse me. This is one of my favorite things to make when I have guests over or when I just want to chill at the house and we want to have something to chomp on, little snacks, little wine and cheese. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. I want to make sure you are a part of my 500 subscriber giveaway of a amazing bottle of Maison Francis Kirk Dijon Gentle Fluidity Gold. So make sure you're subscribed. Hopefully I put it right there. <laughs> and also, let's get started with the fun. This board is something you can do when you have guests over, but this is something that's really fun and cool to do for Valentine's. And I have so much stuff out. I don't even know if it's gonna fit on this board, but let's get started. So a good charcuterie board, let's go with the essentials. It's gonna have some meats. You know, if you're a vegetarian, take that off. It's gonna have some, some cheeses, it's gonna have some veggies, it's gonna have some sweet, some savory, it's gonna have some crunch. Um, but if there's some things on here that you don't necessarily like, don't fit your fantasy, by all means take them off. So that's why I said make sure you, com you comment below because I would love to see what's your favorites on your charcuterie board. So for me, I like some Italian salami, prosciutto, calabrese, and this is gonna be my first time actually making it in a meat flour, so that should be fun, so stay tuned for that. Um, we also have cheeses. I always put a brie on there. This is the St. Angel brie. I love brie because it's so creamy. I also put some manchego. I like something with a little bit of a bite. So manchego is a good one. And you know, people typically like it. It's not something that's just like too ripe, too strong, too pungent. I never really put a pungent on there. Um, so to each his own. The men in our house love cheddar. So tonight I put some cheddar on there just for them. And then for the sweet, I got some berries. So we have some blackberries, we have some raspberries. I usually put grapes, tonight I didn't. Also for the sweet, we have a honeycomb. This is one of my favorites, Savannah Bee Company. So pretty too, because it's the honeycomb. So I love to put out, you know, the little, shout out to the beehive compliments and then we also you cannot have a charcuterie board without having this fig spread which I don't even think I would Dalmata fig spread this is an essential this right here everybody loves it's sweet it's like a, a little bit of seeds in there pretty cool we gotta have some veggies on there um, People put olives on theirs as well, but I don't really like olives, I like olive oil. But I've tried it, I just never ate it. So tonight we have some carrots, we have some hummus, and then nuts. I'm not a fan of nuts either, but you know, I can't have this being a, you know, all about what I like, charcuterie board. So we're gonna try some nuts. So these are some macadamia nuts. They look pretty cool, so I may actually taste them. And then, because this is a Valentine's charcuterie board, we're going to have some chocolate because who doesn't love chocolate? And it's the perfect excuse to put it on your board because it's Valentine's. So I would suggest just to make your board sort of special, you could get like Valentine hearts, you could put, um, what else you could put well i'm doing dark chocolate but i think like all the like cute valentine's candy like spread around you know kisses like lint truffles all those things i think are pretty cute to put on there so we're gonna get started and see if this is gonna fit on this board <laughs> so let's actually show you the board the board came from ch home and john's creek it's a really cute little home decor store and I thought this was the cutest board ever. I have a couple of them, but this is the board for the night. So let's get started. So we're doing a meat flour. This is my first time doing it. So let's say it for here. But what I've heard is best is to let your meat sit out just for a little bit, get a little bit room temperature so you can actually mold it and it'll actually form to your wine glass. So get a wine glass 
and then just layer them over the wine glass, the rim, just like petals. So this is about to be a mixture of salamis because we have a row of the uncured kappa loco and then we also have a row of the calabrese and then we also have a row of the spicy calabrese so let's see Let's just let it sit for a little while. I don't know how we're gonna get it out, but now what we'll do is let's cut up some cheddar. charcuterie boards well first of all it was probably in the midst of the pandemic mm. and I like love wine and cheese it goes together complements each other it's amazing and every place I've ever gone let's see where we're gonna put this it's cheese there let's go here they have always served cheese and talked about how well different types of cheese, with the wine. So then we started, you know, being at home more because everyone was quarantined at the house. And so I was like, I would love to try to have that experience in the house. So this is how I started making my charcuterie reward. And plus I just also love hosting my friends and family over when I can prosciutto oh my god prosciutto is amazing it's like thin very thinly sliced pork and it is so nice i remember where i fell in love with charcuterie too it was probably in italy we went to a wine tasting in tuscany a little bit outside of is it close to Florence? Probably was close to Florence. And it was a female owned um, thing here and it was so nice. And they brought out just like the simple, like there was a salad. The, the vineyard was called Solara. So absolutely check it out if you're looking to go to Italy because it's beautiful. The location is absolutely amazing. Let's see where this hummus is gonna go. But I'm trying to also, what's the fun thing about which, I don't know if I even said that, but charcuterie boards are fun because it's always like trying to figure out, hey, what's the real estate gonna look like on the board? So it's always fun to see where things are gonna fit and how it's gonna work. Maybe we should do this because this probably is gonna be quite interesting. Okay, so this is a honeycomb. Smells very good. We're gonna drop this bad boy right here. And then, uh, I know we said we wanted to put some hummus in there. I love the different textures it dips, so I'm always looking for something that just looks beautiful as 
well as taste amazing. Mm, it's really good. The sweet and the savory go so well together. But also just even when you just have like the the savory, it's always good to just go back and go like, okay, so now I want a bite of this and let me see what these taste like together. Now we need to make sure we have room for chocolate and macadamia nuts and crackers. These right here are almost like the star of the show, the size of the cake jam. And we don't have room for man shape. like to do we'll put the chocolate here is put this spread right on the board a friend Keisha taught me that so then people can just go for it let's do that and then what you're supposed to do is just these are so cute these came as a gift from a friend and these are from William Sonoma, so then people know exactly what type of cheese they're eating. So if they, you know, unless they don't really care for something, they know to avoid it. We're gonna go all the way cheesy, and we're gonna try a heart. Do a heart. It's for Valentine's, so it's not cheesy. Lord. Really cute. How cute is he? Look. It's gonna be the focal point right there. Chocolate. This one's one of my favorites. It's like burnt dark, it's burnt sugar with caramel. So it's pretty. which is easy. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's a big flower. I think if you do a smaller wine glass, you can keep it more centralized, but we have big body reds. So this is Luxland ATL's charcuterie board, and I think I did pretty darn well. The only thing I think I would do is add some more crackers to it, because that's what people use as their base all the time. And we're done. This is perfect for Valentine's. This is perfect for chilling in the house with friends, your boo, whatever you're gonna do for Valentine's. I hope you have an amazing night. I hope you have some good wine or some good champagne. I'm gonna have some Shumsberg. This one is a Cremont, which is demi-sec, so this is a 2018 bottle. Let's see how cold she is, because we serve champagne chills. And we're gonna enjoy a glass. And I don't know if I said champagne, but Shamsberg is sparkling, so I wanna make sure we give them their, their due. It's basically champagne, but um, champagne has to actually be made in the Champagne District, otherwise they say you have to call it sparkling. Got some beautiful roses here. Happy Valentine's Day to you, darlings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some ideas. Um, hope it gave you, you know, some mouth-watering treats to add to your charcuterie board. <coughs> Cheers. And you're supposed to tilt the bottle down so the bubbles don't take over. And it's supposed to help. 
aerate your champagne. Clearly I'm a heavy pour. Sorry. I just dropped that glass down like real clean. Like doo -doo. Cheers to you, darlings. Can I have a clank clank with you? Clank. Hope you're having a good evening. See you on the next one. Love you, bye.